Hello everyone. I am completely bored, so I might as well find something to do with my spare time. And I've decided to make a video of all the bits I have. I don't have that many, and I I like to keep a collection of them. I don't know why. Anyway, I will explain every one I have, if that made any sense. Right here is a 5-inch D-ring slow twist. My A majority of my horses that I used to ride used that. Um, this one is a Carol Goose tree. I'm not exactly sure. Um, it's a twisted with a dog bone in the middle, and there's only a little leverage and a little gag. Action. You have to use it with the curb because of the leverage. I mean, there's a. That's a pretty strong bit. My horse didn't really like it. Over here, I have a Dexter ring bit. I've always wanted one for some reason. It's commonly used in race horses. I. Uh, I guess it's for more stopping power or something like that. I mean, when you put it in the horse's mouth, this ring goes before the uh, the main part, the snaffle. Um, some, I usually, the racer, the, they use a uh, curb chain with this bit. I don't know. I've tried it on my horse. He hated it. He doesn't need it. I really just got it just to have it. For the hell of it. <laughs> this one I've been looking for for quite some time. It's a ladybug hackmore because the top kind of looks like a ladybug. Um, I tried this on my horse and it didn't go too well. I, I am going to be completely honest. I don't even know how to properly place the hackamore on the horse. I mean, I know how it goes on, but I don't know where the the nose part should sit on their nose. Uh, I guess this is kind of one with the drop band because it has some room to move around. And then there's a curve chain, of course, for because there's leverage here. And then this little bar, it's to keep, I think it's to keep from each side pulling, like when you pull one side, it keeps it from pulling like far out, if that made any sense, sorry. This one, this one is one of my favorite bits. It's a FES brand bit. I really like it because it'll, I like the shanks and then I love these kind of mouthpieces, and so does my horse. It has the little barrel and roller in the middle, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's a low port, so like when you pull one side of the rein, it only pulls that uh, side of the bit. It's individual rotation. Same goes for this side. Um, one thing about this bit is you can't get full rotation when you pull unlike some bits whenever you pull one side of the reins it can completely um do a full uh rotation this one there's like some sort of stopper some kind of type of uh I, I i don't even know but my horse really enjoys these kind of bits with the uh little roller in the middle and the individual rotation and he can Play with the roller and it's with his little tongue. Uh, of course, it uses a curb chain, like any bit that you use that has leverage. This bit I got in Florida. I uh, again I got it just for hell of it. It's a uh, I forgot what it's 
the brand is, but it's a barrel racing combo. It, it's I I used it on a couple of my a uh, few of the horses I rode. It is a, it's too strong for my horse. He doesn't like the um, the mechanics of it. I'm with the combo like this. When you pull down, when you pull on the reins, it took it um it uh, pushes the head stall on the pole down, and then this chain uh it brings it encourages the horse to bring his head up, and the gag action right here makes his head go up. But then you have this nose band that pushes down, so it has a weird action. It's it kind of gives the horse mixed signals, and I mean, it has really long shanks. Uh, I don't really use this. I used it a couple times, but I stopped using it. Uh, it has these little, I don't even know what they're called, bit keepers or something to keep the bit right here from pinching the horse's mouth. And then it does have kind of a narrow, uh, thin mouthpiece i if i'm correct the thinner the mouthpiece the more severe it is i i don't know the i i say the hands of the rider what determines up the harshness of the bit uh it's a twisted uh bit with a little dog bone so when you pull back it's really not this sits along the tongue, and then these move backwards like that, so it doesn't really have the nutcracker effect. I don't like bits that have the nutcracker effect, where they, like, I, you would know what I mean. Hopefully. <laughs> this bit right here is a, I think it's like a rubber egg butt snaffle. This isn't my bit. I, I just found it at a barn, and... I told the owner of the bridle that I would clean it for him, and I just decided, well, might as well, I don't know, keep the bit as uh, a part of my collection. I don't like these kind of bits. I think they're just weird, and the mouthpiece is kind of heavy and wonky. Yeah, I don't like these kind of bits. I think they're nasty, especially this part. But then again, every horse is different. Um... This bit is like my one of my favorites. It's a, uh, I call it my uh, the revolver pistol, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just think it's super super cool. I've I uh, actually got it in a trade with somebody. I traded the briar horse for this. It um, that's where the head stall would connect to the bit. And then these little holes right here for different for different uh, for leverage. Uh, the further down, more leverage here, more mild. And but th this is a high port. Um, I'm not a big fan of the high ports. Normally, people would say this kind of bit would be used in a show ring or something for pleasure or so. But I just used it to make it look cool. <laughs> um, it does. There is room for the side of the uh, sh the uh, bit to move like that. Um, I I really like this bit. It it's pretty heavy. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the curb chain on this thing is so weird. I I don't like that because there's a lot of room for the chain to move along this uh, piece this uh, uh, piece of metal or whatever you want to call it. So. It's it's just weird. The curb change just I, I don't get that. I don't. Um I used to use this on him. I rarely ever do now. But sometimes I do just when I feel <laughs> like I wanna show him off and <laughs> make him look cool. Um over here I have my three other nah my three other bits, my main bits that I use. Um, this one right here is a dragon bit, or whatever you want to call it. I've always been wanting one of these. Uh, it, it's, it, uh, yeah, some people sell them and they make it a ridiculous amount. 
I got this one from Shannon uh, Olson at Select Sad Sadlery. So if you want one, go to her and because she it's it, she's amazing. This bit is actually mm, a little too big for my horse, but uh, he'll, I to make him suck it up and deal. He'll deal with it. Um, there's the uh, the curve chain. I actually, they got my order wrong. I wanted a uh, gold color, but they got the uh, color wrong. So she said I can get the rainbow color for free. So I'm waiting for that to come in with uh, hopefully a mouthpiece that actually fits my horse. Um, the bit itself, the bo uh, the uh, I think called the, uh, the mouthpiece, it actually curves and kind of like to fit the horse's mouth it has a port and then the barrel in the middle because he likes to play with the keep him entertained so that's my favorite bit one of them actually yeah i think my favorite <laughs> this is a low port straight bar kimberwick i commonly used in the show ring i hear but I mean, when I showed, this is what I used. I love the Kimberwick. It's a low pour. Um, it's it had it has no nutcracker effect. It I I yeah, you get the point. Um, there's a curb chain that we would use. Isn't it the isn't it the the rule with the curb chain the two finger rule? I think yeah. Um, and here. Same thing, two holes for different for uh, different uh, uh, amounts of leverage. This for more severe, more mild. Well, a lot more leverage than if you would put would put it here. It's you know more mi mild. Or some people I hear put the reins around this part of the uh, bit of the uh, the bit. Yeah, I I don't get that I don't so I just keep it right here because I want to so that's another bit that I really love he likes it he and he's happy I uh, just got this bit yesterday it's a cent centaur five inch d-ring with a little roller um there's no gag action like a loose ring snaffle, so it can't move along this side of the bit. It's just uh, it's it's connected right here, and it won't move. Um, the bars, the bit, the mouthpiece kind of curves to fit the horse's mouth, so it won't crush a horse's bar per se. And I, I'm actually gonna try this on him today if I have time. And then again, there's that little roller for him i usually only like bits that have you know this kind of mouthpiece with the roller or something like this and a bit like this with the mouthpiece that's straight and a low pour i don't the mullen mouth i i guess mullen mouthpiece i don't know i don't like bits that do that nutcracker effect because it digs into the top of their mouth and put pressure on their uh the bars of their mouth and i also am not a big fan of high port bits because if i'm correct when you push on you move the reins the port actually hits the top of their uh the roof of their mouth so really here's an example of my favorite type of bits that I use on him. It took me a while to experiment with different bits until I finally found the few, some that he's comfortable with. So yeah, that that's those are the bits I am that I use in my collection. I hope to add more to my collection, but as of now, this is what I have. These are the three I use. He's happy and content. If you got a problem with that, I don't care. He's my horse. So, bye.